This is an Almira, uh, 1.5, uh, 2005. It's an N16 type uh, with a GQ engine. I'm uh, just checking the uh, fuel pump current on this car and I have a few uh, uh, captured a few waveforms um, of this current uh, both at uh, fuel prime the startup current that you would see and um, while it's running and also ru um, the rough idea about the RPM um, there's a couple of uh, places you could measure this current, but the handiest place I found is underneath the rear seat, behind the driver's seat. You lift it up. Um, here's a picture of the uh, current clamp, and here's the wire. It's already stripped. There, there was no uh, tape on that. It was bare like that. And uh, if we go to here, here's a, a shot of it there. Uh, Toolbox holding up the seat whilst I'm doing it. Here's the wire that comes out here and it runs over to the uh, fuel pump in this location. Let's start talk about the startup current. Uh, this here is a capture um, I got uh, while uh, switching on the ignition, and you get the prime, uh, the pump prime. And we have here a maximum of 13.1 amps at switch on. That's going from a stand, and then it's you get high current because the motor isn't running, and then the motor starts running and the current goes down, and then it switches off. And 13.1 uh, amps. It's a it's a good idea, but uh, the amount of current it takes at start up. This is the waveform uh, of the uh, pump running while the engine is running at the same time. Um, we have about 4.15 amps of current being drawn um, uh, whilst uh, uh, supplying fuel to the engine. And uh, I'm just looking at the humps here of the segments in the motor and some of them are higher than the others are low. The fuel pump is not giving any trouble at the moment uh, on this car. This is uh, the location of the fuse box. Uh, it's at, on the driver's side, but uh, on the right hand side of the steering wheel, there's a uh, opening there uh, where you can store uh, a bit of paperwork you just pull that out of the way and the fuse box is behind it and these three fuses going down the right hand side are spare fuses they're not connected anywhere and if we count it we have the bottom row of fuses from the right hand side one two three I'm not counting the spare fuse this here's a spare fuse there's a 15 amp fuse here that is the uh, fuel pump fuse. If you pull that out it does disable the fuel, the, the fuel pump. So it's handy if you're yeah you're doing tests on the car itself. This is a capture of the uh, waveform while it's running. Um, I did one but this time I tried to figure out the RPM of the uh, um, the fuel pump and looking at this uh, this here is the highest peak which would match this one though it has to be a, an 8 a segment an armature in the uh, pump so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then we start over again and the time of that is um, 2 milliseconds per division. So each one of these squares is 2 milliseconds. So that's 8 milliseconds and nearly 
8.2a, so 8.2, so 8.4 milliseconds. Just going to get my calculator. Sixty thousand milliseconds divided by um, eight point four. And that equals roughly about seven thousand RPM. Uh, the fuel pump is running at uh, the correct fuel pressure. Hope oh, that's of some help out there to someone that is uh, working on a fuel pump and is wondering whether their current is low, high, or is the speed low or too high. Thanks for watching.